running here with you. I would have did that when the bed no worries. God is not real. He's very much alive. I may not have to do it like you, but I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do me while you do you. Hallelujah, because your father receives it all. You say you had to dance perfect. Some people can just do this. Can't pick their feet up on the floor. Some people can just do this. I don't know what that is. Just make sure you ain't being lazy. Somebody else. Yeah. 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 
and in their business to come cut the grass. Yeah. He said, I can clean my own house, but I invest in somebody else to come in and clean my house. I can wash my own car, but I invest in somebody else to come and wash my car. Y'all understand this? Yeah. But what he yeah. stated is they're always looking for ways to be yeah. a blessing. Yeah. You don't go in the restaurant and, 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 and complain and you know, try to be con artists or get something for free. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't have to walk out and don't invest in that waitress that just took care of you. You want to be a blessing. Oh, I went to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you're just looking... They, they have free uh, tire pressure when they do the tires. They don't charge it. I get them to do my tires, and, and I reach in my pocket, and I, and I, and I give them. I said, go get you some lunch. And he's like, sir, you know, I, I said, take that money. Go get you some lunch. You're always looking for ways. So what are you saying? They said, that's how you stay blessed. Now look at, you know. For ways not to, but ways to. Everyone in here is in you. I didn't come here with this, but this is what I'm going to Every one of you in here, you have it in you. Take a step. Don't ask how. Don't ask why. Just take a step. You put a baby on the floor, it's okay if she falls, but you want her to at least take that first step. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all still here? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so if I miss it the first time, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to get up, and I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Are y'all still here? Yeah. Holy Ghost talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. You got business ideas in you, honey. Yeah. Get busy. Yeah. I was talking to sister yesterday. There's that beautiful invention God had given her. And, and, and I thought, I said, when we started this ministry, we didn't have anything. God said that we were going to do it. He gave me the vision of what it was to be. And I took the step. Uh-huh. After going back uh, a couple times, I wanted to make sure. Yes, sir. I've seen too many churches fail. Right. And I'm like, we're going to do this. We're going to be a success. Yes, sir. Not looking to do this and fail. Yes, Not looking to do this and lose. I want to know for sure you're the one Amen. giving me this to do. Yes, Didn't have anything. Amen. Then we tried to do the cheapest route. Amen. Y'all see how our minds work. Amen. They said $15 an hour. I said, perfect. Amen. When I walked off, God said, no, it's not perfect. I'm like, huh? He said, go back. Tell them you want a lock and key that nobody else has. Amen. And I want that place consecrated. And don't want nothing else going on in there right. but y'all in there. Amen. I said, well, uh, brother, how much is that going to be to do that? He said, that's going to cost you 300 I looked at him and said, okay. What are you doing? You're stepping out. And whatever he said, do, just do it. Why? He will bring forth and manifest the provision for that vision that he gave And we stand today, what? 22, 23, I don't know how I many, I lost count. This is 22. What is this? 22? I don't know. <laughs> 22, 23 months ago. Started in 2001. So just counting yourself. Amen. But, but, but this is what I am. We haven't gone backwards. See, if you see that business failing, then it will keep failing. Y'all still here? Yes, sir. I wish I had a, a bag of seeds. But, anywho, if you look at that bag of seeds plant, watermelons or whatever, they don't put a seed on that cover. They put what's supposed to come up from that seed on the cover. So that you can stay focused on what's supposed to harvest. Not on Did y'all get that? 
See, the sea is in you. Yeah. But you stay focused on the package. <laughs> the sea will produce yes, right. what it's supposed to. Yeah. But keep your eyes. He don't want you sitting there looking at how much money you got. Yeah, right. I'm going I'm to skip over here. I'm going to show you all the scripture. Second Corinthians 4 and 7. Let me show you all something. Y'all know how I am. If you've been around me, y'all know how I am. I'm not on the protocol. Amen. I'm not, I'm not on the protocol. I go with the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. So don't, don't get it run off because uh, he didn't do a protocol. Right. I'm led by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Watch this here. I'm, I'm going to read it. The Living Bible translation says, But this precious treasure, this light and power that now shines within us, is held in a perishable container that is. In our weak bodies. This is why we don't depend on the outside. We're looking at the treasure. That we possess. We have within us. Now I want y'all to affirm this from your mouth. I have within me. I have within me. Precious treasure. Precious treasure. That is of God. That is of God. Not this earthly body. Not this earthly body. I'm about to produce. I'm about to produce. And reproduce. And reproduce. Amen. Amen. Watch this. He says, everyone can see that the glorious power within us must be from God. And is not our own. Watch this. What is he saying here? If it's of God, it's supposed to be miraculous. Where they look at you and be like, how in the world? Right. Because they only see the outside. Right. But your dependence is not the outside. Your dependence is the precious treasure on the inside of me that has been given to me by God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm not supposed to be rolling like mediocre. <laughs> Y'all gonna stay with me a little bit? Yes. I'm not gonna just go along in this earth waving on a handout. When I got all this that's like having a billion dollars in the bank and don't know it's yours. A billion dollars in the bank and walking around Raggedy, toe up from the floor, mad, angry, going through, can't get through. But you got a billion dollars. In the bank. God has invested himself in you. Bring us to our theme, you and God. Are one. You and God. If you hadn't caught us, this is we're on the level. Part of this series. If you haven't caught up yet, you got work to do. <laughs> and go get on YouTube and start back at part one and come on up to part eleven. Because if you still broke, busted, and disgusted, and haven't had an awakening during this series, you're really not paying attention. There are people that are interested, but they're not interested. They're interested, but they're not interested. So they don't benefit because all they're doing is just coming and just being here as opposed to, like some of the rest of us, grab it and put it to work. You got to come to the conclusion, I'm not supposed to be still walking around here broke. Sick all the time, down all the time, 
waiting on somebody to bring me some hope somebody hire me. That's somebody coming all the time. Just pray for me. I'm not praying for you to get no job. Jobs everywhere. They give you bonuses and everything. Please come work here. But they don't have enough employees. You come and I get a break. Get out that house. They'll hire you on the spot, baby. Just walk in there. They need you. I ain't pray for no job. Y'all missing right there. Pick yourself up and get confident about yourself. Know who you are from God through Christ Jesus. And pick yourself up and walk like it and talk like it. Wherever I go, they will want me. Yeah, that's right. I know that's the truth. I'm going to cause an increase in profit. Yeah, that's right. What the woman with the issue in Mark 5, what she do? She spoke everything before she got it. Right. She spoke exactly what it was going to be. Y'all catching this? I'm here to wake you up. Yeah, I love the shower. I love to dance. I, I love to meditate. I love to sit down and, and learn. Take away. Because yeah. I got to get myself to the next level. I'm not yeah. satisfied right here. Right. I, I, I know there's more. I don't care where you are right now. There's more. The Bible says even in your old age, you will steal. Yeah. Because there's still more. Yeah. I'm too old now. Shut up. Stop it. You call that thing before. I got to lose weight. Come on, man. Man, getting heavy. Praise the Lord. But look at this. Put that thing out there. And then start moving. Amen. And watch God orchestrate. Them elaborate. Oh, I love them. I talk about them all the time. Why sit we here and die? Yeah, we may be full of this disease, but we're not going to just sit here and do nothing. That's right. They didn't mean like me. You know, they already told me I couldn't walk because I've been in the bed too long. But in my mind, you ain't going to tell me I can't walk. <laughs> you might be right, but in my mind, y'all got to hear this. Right. So I got up out of bed. It was okay, I feel. <laughs> right. I hit the floor. Yeah, gotcha. But I got on back up. Sat on the edge of that bed. Amen. Gave myself a few minutes. I said, I'm going to try it again. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it again. What are you doing? I'm persevering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I refuse to just be stuck. Yeah, in the bed. In the bed. Yeah, right. When I got all this treasure yeah, yeah. and power yeah. inside me, uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do what? Exceeding and abundant above all that you what? Ask for according to according to the power that is at work inside of you. Look at your neighbor. Just tap him. Tell him you can get up. the word of God. I was saying yesterday to the students, you take the word of God, you get the knowledge of God, and the more you understand God, the more you understand who you are. Yeah, yeah. And we are connected to his divine nature. Amen. Through the knowledge. Amen. Well, uh, Amen. I think I need to take you out to that. Amen. Second Peter 1 and 3. I need to take you out there because y'all are looking at me kind of strange. Go. Amen. See, they done told you too long that you were nothing and you believe. Amen. Now you hear somebody trying to tell you you are somebody. Amen. But you look at it funny like a cat when you get it. Because, because you haven't heard this before. Well, that's why God led you here. He led you to let you know, honey, you're royalty. You were created in my image. I'm not junk, so you ain't junk. I wish I would have somebody. If God is not junk, Read. By his divine power. By his divine power. God has given us 
He's given us everything we need that we need for living a for living life. Living in King James, switch over to King James. Somebody tell God, thank you. Thank you. You're going to get this today if I never see you no more. I'm dropping some nuggets on you. According to his divine power, has given to us all things that pertain to what? Life and baby, you supposed to have the best of both worlds. Yes. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Will be done on earth as it is. And you got the best of both worlds. He has given you all things pertaining to life and godliness. Come on. Though the knowledge of him. Through. I'm sorry. Through the knowledge of him. Through. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Watch this. Through your knowledge. Of him mm -hmm. who has done what? Called you mm -hmm. to call us to glory. To glory. And virtue. Mm -hmm. glory. Virtue meaning here moral excellence. Ah, okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. Moral. Amen. He does everything the best. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. And if I'm one with him. I should be expecting the best. May not look like it at first when I get started, but look back at me about two, three months from now. Then come back and look at me again in the next two or three months. You see, it don't take no long time. Once you discover, this is why people gravitated to the secret. Yeah. Y'all yeah. know y'all yeah. see That's right. I know y'all, you know, y'all deep religious. <laughs> yeah. But they're taking your Bible. Yes, they are. Yeah. 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 And you, ooh, wait. Yes, Come on. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And taking religion off of it. Yeah. Right. That's exactly. And giving people reality. Yeah. That's why it went so far. Exactly. There was no religion connected to it. That's why when you come in here, don't come in here expecting religion. You come out of this book. If you're looking for that, there's a whole lot of them out there that you can get the traditional religion. You have been, if you've been in church for a long period of time and have not moved, Jesus. You might want to change the cook. <laughs> or change what you're cooking. <laughs> you might ask me, had pastors ask me, how? How in the world? Mm -hmm. I said, my focus is one thing, and that's God in me. I want to develop myself to everything that he says that I am. Yeah, yeah. And watch this. The more you do that, yeah, yeah. right there, That's right. the outside will follow suit. Yes, yes. The, the seed, yes. except it goes in the ground, the Bible says, and yes. dies, it cannot bring forth a harvest. Yes. So you got to know that this is why Jesus used that so much in the Bible, talking about the farmer and the seed. Because you got to go inside. You can't just lay that seed on top of the ground and expect it. You got to put it down in the earth. And it'll produce the harvest that it's supposed to. The hardest job is you working on yourself. Mm -hmm. Because especially people in church, because they're used to looking at everybody else in judgment. Right. They don't look at themselves. Right. I'm, I'm very careful around people that always judge everything right. in the body. Right. I don't want that attached to me. No, no, I don't want that attached to me. Because everybody can get up. Some people just have not gotten to this type of knowledge. 
repent. People go through things. People are dealing with stuff. You don't know what's going on with people that cause them to be like that. But once they come into the knowledge of the reality of God, it will cause a 360 transformation in their life. But they automatically expect tradition. But then you hear somebody talk about this, you're like, why? Somebody was on live stream last Sunday, and I, you know, I always go through the comments when I go home. Somebody that hadn't been here, but she was on, on there, and she was like, wow, what an incredible message. Mm -hmm. Never heard it like that before. Wow. Yeah. 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 Light bulbs start coming on. Right. <laughs> People out here that are taking what's being taught. Right. And they're causing situations and circumstances to change and shift. Y'all don't mind teaching, do you? No. See, see, we got to get up. Time out just walking around talking about Jesus and I'm saved and I got the Holy Ghost and not develop myself in what I'm talking about. Because they will know you, the Bible says, by your fruit. Right. They see you the same, same, same all the time. There's no fruit to show them anything different. Look at your neighbor and tell them, produce. 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 Let me back up a little bit here. I've got a few minutes. Amen. Let's see what we can do. Is that all right? Nothing happens in your life except that which you voice with your mouth. We got to open our mouth and start speaking the right thing. Stop saying stuff you don't want. Don't let nobody get you so worked up. You start saying stuff because universe has ears. Has ears. And whatever you put out there boomerangs back to you. Stop looking at you get upset or whatever. Close your mouth. Because I don't want something to come out that I'm going to regret later. Look at your neighbor come, I'm working on something. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. You be mad by yourself. You be all right. You, you know. But I'm not going to join you. Y'all got to catch this. See, you choose who gets you upset. Okay, okay. You give them permission to get you worked up. <laughs> if I know who I am, I'll stand and look at you. Sometimes you look like a nut. Depends on who you are today. Everybody, <laughs> Watch this. Your prosperity, your health, your success, your victory, your progress and promotion in this life are the result of what you say with your mouth. Amen. Tell yourself you have already won. In the midst of all hell breaking news, tell yourself already won this battle. The Lord will fight for me. And all I need to do is remain calm. Because he don't want me to say something that I'm going to regret later. Look at your neighbor just bump him. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. All of this, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, Proverbs, I think it's 4, 23, 23. He says, guard your heart above all else. Why? Because out of it flows the issues. Watch this. I'm going to break it down. Your future. Uh-oh. Okay. Ah. I think it's 
Matthew, is it Matthew 12, 34? Let's try that. And 35, I believe it is. Let's try King James. Y'all okay with this? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you're you going to go out with the doors? Yeah, doors. Better than you were before you walked in. You're going to walk out the door with a change of mindset. Everything that was up against you before you got here is going to turn you loose before you leave. That's right. And then you come and visit with you, please pray for God. You know, I, yeah, I know what you did. <laughs> but see, if that didn't happen to you before, why are you going to keep hanging with the same people? Right. Apparently, something about you likes it. Right. Because how can two walk together Unless they except pray. they agree? That's it. So there's a part of you that's hooked to that. Come on now. That's right. That's right. And there's no evidence to show anything different. Oh, God, she did. Come on, finish it. Oh, I, I got to break it down to you. Baby. And an evil man. The evil man. Bring it forth evil. He can only bring forth evil results. He can't bring good results because he's evil. Right, right. He can mad at you if you don't give him five dollars. <laughs> They'll touch you out over five dollars because evil is in them. If I got good treasure, look, God said, if I was hungry, I would open my mouth and say, If I didn't have any money, I would open my mouth and say, It's hard. My wife or anybody else is giving me to talk about me being sick. Because I know them words will make it worse. And I believe in healing is happening. Yeah. So I turn around and say, there's some healing going on. There's some healing. There's some healing. There's some healing going on. There's some healing going on. And if you 
you've been around me and know me, you know what I mean when I say there's some healing going on. I can hear me, man. I can't get it.
Don't tell me it don't happen because it's happening. Yes, sir. It's happening right now. Yes, sir. Because they're getting too busy and they're sending money yes, places that they weren't. But God knows where to go. You don't got to grab a bitch. And they turn around and say, I just, I just want to bless you. Yeah, I'm going to get the ching ching. Yeah. I just want to bless you, bitch. Yeah. I just want to be a blessing, bitch. Ching ching. Just want to be a blessing, bitch. People walk up here. Want to be a blessing to the man of God. Yeah. What are you doing? You're setting yourself up. Yeah. Now somebody will walk up to you. Oh, boy. Did I just tell you? Did I tell you it has a boom? King Bridge 
It was all coming up. Uh -huh. Wasn't nothing over there. The junkie got uh, car wash, gas station, free water coming out of the ground, bunches, you know, I'm, I'm talking about us when we were there. That was already gone, baby. That was just a big giant field. And that's <laughs> yeah. But I prophesied up that street. If you drive across there today, yep, yep, and I'm doing more. Yeah. They still build it. Yes, they are. They still build it. Yeah. Anybody been over that way? Yeah. yeah. Then I prophesied downtown. Yes, yes, you did. Because it was going enough. Yes, you sure did. Prophesied down there. Yes, you did. Go down there and let's see what's happening. All right. Now, I know it was probably plenty of others did the same, but sometimes I had the whole church to join me in agreement right. and we just shouted out. Right. Then other times I walked down there right. and I started decreeing and declaring. Right. From America went down there. And all the prices down there went up. Yep. Yep. Other businesses went down there because of pro-America. I yep. mean, it just happened, 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 happened. Yeah. Right. Sure did. Imagination station couldn't get no station. <laughs> <laughs> but out the blue, they got a giant grant to redo that whole place. And if you've seen the old and look at the one today. 100,000 times better. We made them take that bridge down. Absolutely. Absolutely. But see, this is what I'm trying to get to you. When Jesus spoke to the tree, he didn't stay at the tree. Oh, people saw me talk to you. You know, you got you to gotta wither up because I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> No, catch me, catch me. But yeah. so people do this. Yeah. And they think it's not working. Yeah. The problem is you're standing there looking at it too long. Yeah. Hold the bird makes the heart sick. Yeah. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. So, y'all, I'm sorry that I prophesied that. It don't look like it's with Jesus didn't do that. He spoke, turned around, walked on. Who was the first one took notice when they came the next day? The disciples. Because Jesus already knew. A miracle ain't a miracle to Jesus. Come on, It's a miracle to the flesh. Come on with it, Lady coming to office Friday. She said, Did you understand what I was saying about that? I said, Yeah, I understood very well. But a miracle isn't a miracle to Jesus. Right. It's just what he do. Right. And if you live in front of him, that's what keeps you humble. Because this is supposed to happen. You're supposed to live nice. Lavish abundance. You're supposed to live like that. And you stay in humility yeah. when you ain't sticking your head on your side. You already know. So you take a child that was born in a well upgrown house with everything. They get on the plane. They ain't on there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, they ain't doing that. You know why? Because they were brought up in and they know it. But this belongs to them. And anything beneath that, they frown on it. Because they know they're supposed to have first class living. Yes, Except you come out of a child. Not being so grown. Stop being so grown. Stop knowing so much. Stop looking at situations and circumstances. Start speaking. Because it can't do anything to you except you allow it. A thousand. I said I'll let y'all go home. A thousand will fall at your side. And ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come now you. You will only see it with your eyes. That is the reward of the wicked. Look at everything that's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. Come on, 
devil is supposed to have. I'm supposed to live like
let baby hear you. And the first thing he saw me, oh, we in life. I didn't know. But she hearing you. No, we ain't gonna stop talking poverty around your kids. That's right, Bishop. Right. Yes. Stop speaking negative about your kids. That's right, Bishop. Because it's not the kid that's acting up, it's a demon that's on them. You get rid of the demon, you'll free the child. I'm leaving. Just change it. Cancel all of the negative words. You don't desire your child to perish. Anything happen to him right now, you'd be the first one going crazy. No, I'm going to speak and decree and declare the best for my children. I got married, I said they don't have way beyond what I had growing up. And they did. Every last one of them. Now they got on their own, then, you know. <laughs> but they still look at Big Daddy. <laughs> Mama say, I spoiled him. Yeah, yeah, I said, Mama, I didn't use it. Why is mean? that? Because you don't desire to see them down. Right. 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 No, I don't like seeing people down. Right. Right. Now, I'm not going to continue to feed into your handicap. Right. And somewhere up in here, I'm expecting you to get up. Yes. Now I'm gonna help you here. Amen. But there's a message that goes with it. Yes. Get up. Yes. Get laying around here waiting on come back again with a violin. Yes. And again with a violin. And again with a violin. You no, know, because I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna go on and play that violin. <laughs> oh, you look so good playing. <laughs> but no, I'm not giving you none this time. I make you use your faith. Yes. <laughs> they're always handing it out. They'll never use their faith. That's right. Because I run the mom and dad. Yeah. Amen. Right, right. No, I want you to use your faith. Yeah. Every last one in here, not even my physical kids or whatever, I have spiritual kids in here. They come and ask. I say, I want you to utilize your faith. If it does not work, then come back and I'm going to give it to you. And none of them came back. You know why? They took what I said, worked it, activated, and they got the money that they need. Yes, we help people. There are a lot of people in here that have been helping us. Right. But there are times I want you to work your faith. Because right. if you learn how to work your faith, you'll never be reaching for him. Because I know how to work my faith. I call things that be not as though they already were. Now, people that don't want to do that, they keep coming back. Well, you know, I didn't try it, but I know you did. <laughs> you don't go with the wrong people. You should have put it in your spirit. Right. And see what the Lord said. He's put it in my spirit. I've gone to people that he told me was going to help and be a blessing. Never said a word. Just sat with them. Had a real conversation. And all of a sudden, they turn around and say, you know what? We want to help you. And we're going to give you X amount of dollars to help you. Didn't have to come out of my mouth. But in my spirit, God already told me mm -hmm. how much they were going to give me. Told me who it was going to be. And I didn't have to sit there and look like a beggar. I just sat there, had a regular conversation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and said what our plan was. Mm -hmm. And they invest. Mm -hmm. And didn't want nothing in return. Right. Amen. No, okay. Amen. See, this is why I believe it's so strong. And I'm believing it's strong, strong, strong. Yeah. Because results, 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 yeah. results, yeah. results. Yeah. You get the results. Honey, uh, you keep working. Yeah. Faith is not to be put up on the shelf. Right. Faith is to be work. Faith is your servant. You're supposed to get out there. Give it something to do. Yeah. Right. The Bible says you come to your table. He comes, brings dinner to you, and wants to sit down with you. But you don't have him sit down with you. You're sitting back out. Oh, yeah. 
you send them back out. So don't get to the place where you're so comfortable that I don't have to use it anymore. Big mistake. I don't care if you come to a billionaire status, big mistake. Don't right. stop. Right. 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 Well, I got a 100-foot yacht. Get a 200-foot. Right. <laughs> Y'all be surprised. Amen. I, I'm looking at it. They won't let nobody yacht be bigger than that. That's right. You came up with a 100-foot, I'm coming back with a 150-foot. <laughs> you come with a 50-foot, the next one coming back with a 200-foot. Y'all so got to get out. <laughs> this is how they do. This is how their mind works. You go to Dubai. They don't let anybody in no country outdo them. No. If you bring an American idea, then they already they said, oh, we already did that, or somebody else that did that. Bring back one that nobody done. They measured out the tallest building in America and, and built one way much taller. Y'all got to catch it? See, what's the matter with your mind? It works if you work it. Neurons that wire together, they fire together. You can produce. I can produce. I was listening to a billionaire a few days ago. He had no more than a second grade education. He learned where his treasure was. And he went in there and started working. And today, he's worth billions. Y'all hear this? It, you don't go off of your know-how. You go off of his know-how and what he's already done. Now, I'm manifesting it. He's already did it. He created everything. Watch this. With his mouth. But when it came to you, he had to put his hands on it. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. He created everything with his mouth. But when it came to you, he had to put his hand on it. Y'all got to grab it. Don't let this bore you. Honey, look, you, you need this. Don't want your life to be in vain. No. You want to leave a legacy behind. Yeah. Not a debt. Yeah. You want to leave a legacy. Yeah. Well, they can, your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids, they look up to you. Yeah. And, and, and they're missed yes. Yes. of you. Because yes. you left a legacy. Yes. 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 I, I feel bad when I see parents leave and, and no insurance. This means nothing, and the kids got a big debt. They got to come up with money. We say we don't need insurance. Uh, what? What? You still got an earthly body. Come on, man, you got to it. Which got to go back to the dust from whence it came. You need life insurance. You sure do. Sure do. You already sad now. You're sadder because you ain't got the money. You'd be surprised the people I come in contact with. That's right. And we have help. Yeah. Yeah. See, I turn around and then, and then I get no, because people just sit around and purposely don't do it so that somebody else. Yeah. You got the wrong mindset. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm God's child. God's child. Yeah. And it is in Him that I live. I move, I move and I exist. And I exist. Now come on and give your God a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Come on, scream out like you're in the